Welcome to the channel. Payne the Batute here with another Tarkov task video. Um, it's pest control, and as you can see, I've got it done. Um, this is actually an updated pest control for 13.5. I have a previous video, and the biggest complaint in that video and the game at that level was that it seemed to be really picky, and I think it still is really picky about where you shoot the the, um, the uh, scavs. So you're shooting scavs um, basically around the Black Pond and White Pond building. That's where the helicopter is on reserve. So let me pop over here to the map and show you what I'm talking about. Give me a second here. There we go. So here's the Tarkov map for reserve. And the two buildings I'm talking about are the White Pond. So here is the dome up on the hill. Here's the helicopter. Here's the Black Pond. And you need to shoot um, scavs either in the buildings themselves or very, very close to the buildings. I've shot lots of them out around here, and they don't count. Uh, in my previous video, I had a kill here, didn't count, kill here, didn't count kill here did count so the closer you kill them to the building the better the best is actually get them to either find them in the building and that includes uh, players playing as scavs if you can find them in the building and kill them that's fantastic otherwise you need to be very close so I had somebody uh, comment on my previous pest control video and said well this is what uh, tagged and curse is for and I never really thought it Thought about it so let me pop over um, and here we go this is Tarkov wiki and you can see here tagged and cursed is in a hidden state in Tarkov it automatically applies to a PMC that doesn't have at least a firearm and a armor vest chest rig or backpack equipped upon entering a raid so, um, I decided I would give it a whirl, uh, because what happens is, if you're tagged and cursed, scavs will actively come after you. Now, as I found out, they're not horribly stampeding towards you, which would have been helpful, but they will come towards you, and, and you can lure them into the building, or if you're in the building, they will come into the building after you. So, I thought this would be worthwhile. Anyways, um, so what I'm going to do then is show you uh, a little video. I apologize, it is at night. So it's uh, I've played with the colors to make it a little bit easier. So here I'm going into White Pond. And one of the uh, problems with playing it, this level of equipment, i.e. a gun and not much else, I was going to go into Black black pawn and I heard somebody tell me not to come into the building I think he was maybe doing this same uh, task but I figured I wouldn't survive based on he, if he had any kind of equipment at all he would have killed me so I'm going in then I'm going to the one side of the building and I found this little room so I thought well I can st stake out here and see if I can get the scavs coming towards me and just as I did that I hear a scav that somebody has shot at because he's breathing heavily. So I go out and take him. But you notice he basically heard me and um, made the move on me. So this is what I'm taking. I've got some meds and a gun and mags and that's it. Now I can hear another one coming at me. Problem is, the sound in this game has never been the most terrific, so I'm thinking that he's coming from outside, maybe from towards that truck or something. But I definitely can hear him approaching. And it turns out he's coming up from downstairs. But again, they they are coming towards me because I am tagged and cursed. Now, what Tagged and Curse says is that the um, no matter what you do, the status of Tagged and Curse will remain with you um, for the whole game. 
So you can put on body armor. So here I'm going to put on some body armor. I'm going to take a backpack and a rig and everything. And yes, in fact, I can confirm that it does continue to um, consider you tagged and cursed and that they chase you. Uh, chase is a bad word. They, they will come towards you. So just a couple of seconds here. The color is a bit off because I was playing around with it. So it look, the outside play would look better. Anyways, there we go. I've got his stuff, and now I'm going back in my little room thinking that maybe I'll wait here a second or two more, or a little bit more, and see if I can get a third guy to rush me. Plus, I'll repack my mag. Uh, notice I'm using a P226, 20 round mags, and rip ammunition. So, I will go and pest control here. I've got 5 out of 10 at this point. So I've tried this a few times, and like three times I got killed by players trying to come in. I've come in a couple other times, and there's been players in buildings all around me, and it's been horrible. So it can be a little tricky trying to get in here and do this if you're going to do Tagged and Cursed. So anyways, there you can see somebody in the distance. I've left the building. There's actually two of them. And they're not stampeding towards me or anything, even though I'm cursed. So I take a shot just to uh, get them to move, hoping that they may come after me. Because here in the bushes that run, run along the front of Black Pond, if I could kill them in the bushes, I think that would be sufficient. So in this little cor sort of corridor, see, you can hear somebody in the building, so gotta be careful but this little corridor if you could get one in this corridor um, it doesn't show my last kill in this video but that's where the last kill I got was in this little corridor a, a scav player no, scav player it was just a normal scav but because I got him so close to the building it counted so I'm almost gonna say anything on the other side of that hedge is maybe not gonna count So at this point, I'm kind of trying to figure out where everybody's gone. There were two of them out here by the helicopter. One of them looks to have gone into the building. And even if I wasn't tagged and cursed, if I was just playing normal, this would be kind of in the area if I could... Uh, somebody just kicked the door. If I played in this area in the hedge and could encourage them or try to cat, catch one of them. Oh, he's shooting at me. I don't know where he's gone, though. He might have been trying shooting out the window. But anyways, if you come into this sort of area and work along here, you can get them. Um... Uh, most people that I've heard in the building shooting at scabs are shooting out of one of the windows. That you have to be, again, you have to be very careful of how far the scabs are away from the building. So again, here I'm tagged in curse. I came in with a pistol and some mags and bullets and health. I killed somebody, so now I've taken his armor and his backpack and his uh, rig. So, even though I'm still tagged and cursed, I have at least some protection. And I can hear somebody around here. I don't know exactly where. So I had one guy come up from the basement in the other building, so that's what I'm looking here. I hear some gravel. Not 100% sure whether that's gravel in the building. Luckily, I turn around just in time. Here, to prevent getting killed. Well, have a look here. I don't see anybody. Whoa, 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 there he is. Whoa. But I knew. So he followed me in under tagged and curse. But there is again somebody else still in this building because I've heard him ads a couple times. Not in that office, so you must be in here, I hope. And there he is. Okay, so 
that is going to be it for this tagged and curse review um, for the pest control video. Um, yeah, so as you can see, by um, using the hedge along here as my border, more or less, you can, if you get somebody inside that hedge towards the building, it'll count. So in my first video, I got two guys. One guy came in this building, one guy came up from the bottom coming after me. I came out, moved, actually I moved through the building and came out this door, which is behind the yellow. Came over and stuck to, came over this far and I saw one guy here and then another guy moving through here. I took a shot at this guy and he ran into the building and that was the last guy I shot. So I moved along and kept going through the bushes. I did hear somebody who sounded like looting. But he never, he might have been the one shooting at me, but he never got me. So I moved up here, came into this door after the guy over here, and a guy came in behind me. So again, they will, when you're playing tagged and cursed, come after you. It's not hordes. <laughs> That's what I thought. Maybe I'd get all my kills in one raid. No. But you can get three or four of them. I would recommend staying in the raid a fairly long time, like near the end. So bring food and water. Um, if you can in your your pouch but um, otherwise try to pick some up or just kind of hang in there I was I do this kind of thing as like a well, I have so little it's a suicide run I don't care if I get out or not but that's a map alrighty so it's completed and this is what I got for it which was kind of nice uh, not a lot of XP but um, it was done and um, yeah, I've switched back to a normal uh, rig. Um, the only thing I wish I had tried, because I didn't, and if anybody knows for sure, or does it this way in the comments, if you could tell me. But I was thinking that if I... Uh, would it care if I um, went in with all my stuff? So if I went in like this, and um, probably would want to use a rig... It's not a good example, but maybe go in with a rig and with the mags in it. And this rig, you could actually put a helmet in it, and you could put this. I wonder if you had everything in the backpack, went in with just the backpack, and then immediately changed, or i.e. put on your rig, put on your uh, mount your gun, uh, put your helmet and, and listening device on. Would that allow you to uh, to do that? And um, Sad to say, I did not try that, and so I don't know. Um, to be honest, I kind of think it might. It might if you go in with what it thinks is just a backpack. I don't know if it would actually contain um, or check what's in your in your backpack. So I went in with a pistol and whatever mags I could get into my pockets, and then some ammunition and health. But if I had a, used, uh, again, a TV rig, armored rig, something with two, two, four slots, I could have put a helmet and a listening device in and my gun. And then, of course, the mags in this part. Would it have worked? I think it would have. And you might want to try that because I found just going in with a pistol was a major pain in the ass. Um, if you ran into a player, if you ran into a player, you don't have any chance at all. And like I said, I got killed three times in the, by players, two just trying to get to the buildings, and one somebody came into the building. I unloaded a whole mag into him, but it wasn't enough to take him down before he was able to kill me. So, anyways, that's it for pest control and using uh, tagged and cursed to complete it. Hopefully, this is of help to you. Thanks.